that thing in me that that wants me to that wants to be a part of wants to be a part of something good and being able to do it to be a part of it and give to it to the best of my ability Hi, my name is uh, Jonathan Thomas. I'm a paralegal at the Community Legal Aid. I'm mainly the paralegal for the uh, Community Legal Aid at Trumbull County Clarence Dale Court Clinic, helping provide people with quality housing or just trying to find ways to help out in the community. I'm very into uh, volunteerism or just volunteering, just trying to find ways to uh, serve throughout the community and, and find different ways and different avenues to, you know, just provide, you know, to, to give my time to, to, to good efforts and, and, and to uh, organizations and different, you know, different things throughout the community that are really providing a service and are really, and are really trying to do what's right and what's good. My father is a, is a preacher. And so I, I've always grown up, always grown up in a household with a uh, with a pastor and a, and a man and woman of God. So that that's been it's pretty much what shaped me into what I am today. What what has me in the legal field is just continuing to just trying to seek out justice and just trying to seek out, um, you know, what's the word I'm the word I'm looking for is not not peace, but you know, mediation, just re just coming to reasonable. Um, conclusions and things, and so whatever way, whatever way I can serve in those moments is, is kind of what has me. It was kind of what brought me into it, and continued to keep me into it. The way my ministry is, and and the way I think about justice is, it's all one and the same. It always goes back to that factor of you know righteousness and. Uh, how do we get in the right relationship with one another? It's not always about being in total, in total agreement and we all just, you know, agree with one another and we're all happy with what one another's doing every single time. But it's about legitimately putting that work in to forgive one another, to love one another, to, you know, to show mercy to one another and to, and to be grateful to one another. Because those are the things, those are the gifts that, you know, that I, that I believe that God has given us. And that's, and that's something that we need to give back to one another. We don't live in a world where people are perfect we don't live in a world where everything is just, you know, all great all the time and nobody has any issues or any, any problems or nobody ever has any confrontation. The importance of justice and in, in, in the system that we operate in is that it gives it is giving people their fair chance to be heard. Just understanding to celebrate, you know, the people we work with and the people we, our family and friends, the people who we interact with on a daily basis, just remembering to honor them when we can, not just not just in the specific month, but you know, just throughout 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 the year, throughout a lifetime, you know, and just letting people know that we we appreciate them. And I think an important thing is, is to do that while they're here. So, while Black History Month, we use it to honor to honor those who've come before us and to to really take that time to celebrate Black history and to really um, acknowledge it but to remember to give people their flowers while they're here and just to honor those who, who are still here with us, still here doing the work, still here doing great things. So, you know, um, celebrate Black History Month, you know, all year round for, for me. One thing that somebody did say to, say to us one time, and it was really important to me, um, it was it was actually one of the ladies who went to our church, but she was talking about the Emancipation Proclamation. There's a lot of Black people who like, who know what it is and like know what it is, but never actually read it. And so I knew I had this book. And so I was like, huh, and she's right. And I'm one of the people who've never read it. I read it and then, you know, from time to time, I go back and read, um, you know, just what the Emancipation, the Emancipation Proclamation says and just always understanding how it was an executive order and things like that. I like to go through and just um, periodically just read different speeches from, uh, from Dr. King. The I Have a Dream speech is one that I do like to read, but it's not necessarily because it's the most famous one. It's really just trying to like, understand what he was saying, understand who he was, you know, just trying not to make Dr. King in my, at least in my heart, in my mind, some type of caricature or figure, but just he was a real person. His assassination wasn't that long ago. You know, it was, it was just in 1968. That's not a super long time ago. You know, his life and his message is one that's important that we should hold on to and that we should understand that, you know, his life was important and the work that he did was important. But there are many others who, who did it as well and who, and who did it in their own significant way. And like I was like I was talking about earlier, there's still people today who are doing important work and you know and who, who are doing their best just to continue to push this moving forward in a positive way. I hope to leave a legacy behind that, you know, 
each and every day I gave it everything I got to be of uh, service to the community and to have, to have done something good and done something you know that brings people together. Somebody who always tried to do the right thing or tried to find a way to do the right thing, even if it doesn't always come out that way. A legacy of care, you know, that ne never perfect, but always tried to put a level of care and um, and uh, and reasonableness into the decisions I make. Uh, somebody who who does who tried to do right and uh, tried to and tried to provide a certain level of care in the things that I did, and um, you know. And hopefully, hopefully I can see that through to the to the end. <laughs>